For those who have viewed our educational resources, when I talk about candlesticks and Western technicals, one of the aspects I bring out is that candlesticks do not give price targets. They're great for giving potential reversals. And then we shift to Western technicals, like prior highs and lows, or Fibonacci retracements, uh, or moving averages, and so forth, to get uh, potential targets. However, uh, there is one exception to that rule about using candles for price targets. What I show on the screen here are a couple of rising windows, and I'll point them out with my arrow here. So here we have a rising window, and then there's another rising window over here. So one of the things that I will do is if the market, now remember the whole window becomes support, and if it closes under the window, see, so see here it moved under the window but it didn't close under it. If it closes under the window as it did here, then we can actually use the prior window, if there is another rising window, as our next potential target. So here, by closing under this rising window, as we did here, the next potential support area, I mean, there are other support areas, you may be looking at recent lows, you know, something like this, but a, a, another potential support area that I will be looking for is the previous rising window over here. And notice how it held. So likewise, if it closed under the bottom of this rising window, my next target would be this small rising window over here. So this would be S1, support 1, this could be support 2, and support 3. And the same would be true with falling windows. So if there's a gap down that is a falling window and the market closes above that falling window, if there's another falling window at a higher price level, that window could become a next potential target.